A lot of people have asked me, how can I turn a time, minute, second column into just minutes? So let's say that your athletes have played a game and it's showing one hour, 30 minutes and 29 seconds. How can you just turn that into solely minutes? And that's what I want to show you now. If we come to transform data, what a lot of people will do is, if we'll have a look at this table, we have some session dates, we have the name of the athlete, and we have a total time in that format that I just mentioned. If we now just turn this one into the easy way, we're going to transform and turn this into minutes. We can now see that, for example, this first one, 16, 21, if we just use this function, we get exactly that, 16, 21, 12, and that all seems to be working fine. There is, however, one issue that a lot of people have raised is if we just remove this one and we filter for duration more than one hour, if we take this one as an example, so that's one hour and 10 minutes, so that should be 70 minutes, but instead we're only getting that 10. So it's extracting just the minutes from that column, but we want both the hour and the minute. And the way to get around this, if we remove this one, is quite simple. You come to custom column, Let's just call this duration. And we will just write a little bit of M language to do this. Very nice and simple. We're just going to use a time function called time hour. If we now just put a parenthesis, we add the total time, we close this, and I will explain you what just we've done. With the time hour function, we are telling Power BI to from the total time column, just take out all the whole hours. So if we now just multiply that by 60, because we know it's 60 minutes in an hour. So if it's two hours, it's gonna be multiplied by two. And if it's one, it's one. And we can then just get the minutes for the hours. If we then just take a plus, the same again, but now we just take the minutes and we insert the total time. We close the parentheses and we can have potentially something that is working because what we do now is from the time hour, we're taking the total time multiplied by 60 and we just extract the number of minutes and add those together. If we now hit OK, you can see how we just got 70. So it's just turned one hour and 10 minutes into 70 minutes. So that is working perfectly fine. So that's how you can turn the time column into a solely duration column in minutes in this example. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. You subscribing is our uh, way of knowing that you like our content. And if you like our content, we'll definitely create more. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you later on.